Hello everybody, welcome back to G Mama's World. How y'all guys doing today? Well, I'm coming to you with a crawfish boil. I have crawfish, potato, and corn. And I have this butter sauce. It's garlic powder, onion powder, parsley flakes, and butter. That's all that is. And I have water to drink. Okay, this is my paper towel for my trash. So we're going to pray and get this started. But before I pray... Don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. All right, now let's pray. Amen. So, y'all, we're going to get started. Like I said, I got a crawfish boy. I have crawfish. I haven't had some in a long time, y'all. Crawfish, butter, corn, and potatoes. So we're going to get started. Y'all know I love my crawfish. Mmm. -hmm. Y'all know I love them. I get down. So how y'all been doing today? Y'all thought I wasn't going to make another video? I'm bad. Hmm? When they tender, they just come on out. That's how you know they cook right. That's how you know they cook right, because they just come on out. Mmm. Juicy. I don't know how many of the potatoes I'm going to eat. Y'all know I'm not a big potato fan. I don't know how them many of them potatoes I'm going to eat. Mmm. Ooh, that one was juicy. Juicy, juicy. Oh, I hope I ain't getting none of this that stuff on my shirt. Y'all, I'm going to give me some blue, blue crabs. We in that season. Give me some blue crabs and I'm going to cook them. And eat them on here. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. <coughs> oh, yeah. hot. These here was prepared by my auntie. Ain't gonna eat no three corns. They was prepared by my auntie, so there. She put up. She likes her is hot, hot and spicy. Mmm. See. How y'all been doing? What y'all eating on today? I thank y'all for the lovely comments for welcoming me back. So, uh, mm -hmm. welcoming me back. I know I've been gone a long time, but I'm back. I'm still trying to get into the groove. 
get because I was in the groove, y'all. I know I was making the video every day. I'm trying to get back in that groove. Mm. Ooh, that season is so good. Let me try one of these potato. It is so good. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> I've been making that beloved sauce. Y'all know I made mine from scratch. I know all about, let me see, three. I got five spicy and five mild. I have not opened out one pack, y'all. I've been making that stuff still by scratch. Still yeah, by scratch. Sure have. But I'ma have to find me some. Y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all want to see me eat. I've been trying to Get back into the groove, swing a thing. So y'all let me know what y'all want to go see me eat. Yep. Y'all, they look like I had a lot. I'm going through them so fast. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I seen this boy on TikTok. He was eating them. <laughs> it was his first time, and he ate one of the legs, and boy, he almost had a fit. I said, boy, give me that bag. Because you playing with them. I break them down to the lowest term. Normally, this time of year, my dad and them have a... In Houston, Texas, they have a crawfish ball and a, uh, a fish fry. I hope they have it this year. They didn't have it last year because of the corona. I hope they do it this year. That's when I started eating. When I turned, I was 52. When I started eating crawfish. And I've been on top of it every time. These things here is juicy. That's how you know they are good. But they are juicy. And that juice come out of there. I got you know, them potatoes are, ooh. <clears throat> them potatoes on point. They like them laid potato chips. Can't eat just one. I'm trying to see where I can take y'all out. I can vlog what I've been doing. I told y'all I've been going to the pantry, feeding the homeless, taking food to the elderly. Mm. 
go to the pantry every day. The pantry is, um, is where you go. They distribute our food. Give you boxes of food. I don't know if your town or state is doing it, but they give you boxes of food. It's onion, potatoes, uh, sirloin steak patties, cheese, uh, yogurt, and it'd be all different kinds of cheese. Mozzarella, uh, what is it called? Uh, Pepper Jack, Cheddar, America. Then sometimes you have the meatballs, the wieners the charbro steak and um what else have we had in there uh chicken and then you either have oranges oranges or apples yogurt uh sour cream or cottage cheese so it just depends on the box but i get those boxes and then i get other things like pastry bread salad steaks chicken all kinds of stuff soda mind you since i've been doing the pantry uh for the whole year i haven't had to go to the grocery store and i give most majority of everything i get i give away we even get the gallons of uh gatorade that you put in a five five gallon jug and put water to it we get that we get ooh, bukus and bukus of water so one day I'm going to take you guys out with me so you can see it. You see that box there full of chips? I got the box behind me with pecans, almonds, cashew nuts, pistachio nuts. Uh, it's uh, pineapple raisins and almonds mix pack. You have prunes and raisins and all kinds of stuff. And I take the stuff and I give it to people that can't get to the stores or people that have kids that are on a fixed income, things like that. Because one family that I distribute to three times a week, she has her four grandkids from the age of 16 to 3. I take them food twice a week. I'm not talking about a little food. I have a three-row van and it be full from the front to the back. And I do this three times a week, and then I go to the other little areas, and I deliver food to different families. I don't know the families. I just, I'm just a blessing. Some families at my church, I deliver to, or they come to my house. I fill a truck up, because we're talking about five, six days a week. I go to maybe four to five different pantries that gives out good stuff. My daughter have been blessed with diapers on top of diapers, wipes. She haven't had to go to the store maybe one or two times, but he has so many diapers. Now I'm working on a size four, five, and six and stuff. And my other grandbaby, pull-ups on top of pull-ups. So it's a blessing, you know, for them that need it. It's a blessing. So, one day, I'm going to take y'all with me and let y'all see what I be doing. When I wasn't videoing, I'm going to let y'all see. And after I pack my truck down, I'm going to let you see my truck. So, that's what I do every day. I leave home at 6. I come back home maybe about 10, 30, 11. It just depends on how many I attend, I mean, how many pantries I go to that day. And stuff. And when I go to these pantries, when I deliver to these different people, I tell them about the goodness of God. And what, what prompted me to do it, when I started going to the pantry, the food that I didn't want, I would give to this lady. Me and her became friends. 
And that would give her the food I didn't want. So, she already had surgery on one knee. She had surgery on her other knee. So, she, it put her down. And she had her four grandkids. That's what prompted me to start going, giving the food to different people. So, in the midst of giving the food to different people, I was... Like, when I give her so much food, I was thinking, well, I'm giving her so much, and I'm getting so much, I started giving it to people at church, two or three families at church that had kids. Then I would give to some to my family and all of that. So now... It just became a thing to me. And I do it. I don't be. I don't be looking for no. I don't be looking for no praise. I don't be looking for none of that. God allows me to get up every morning. And I go do something with it. I spread his word. And I go out and do what he wants me to do. Which is showing love. Spread kindness. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you guys with me one day. Mm hmm. And let y'all see. One day I took her. It was around Thanksgiving. I did her like. At first I started. I was just doing it like twice a week because I had so much. I was doing it twice a week and then she, but week before Thanksgiving, she was like, no, I did the week before Thanksgiving, then two days before Thanksgiving because I had got a turkey in the ham. And when I took it to her, she was like, I didn't think I was going to see you this week because you had already came. And I didn't know I had prayed that morning because I didn't even know if me and the kids were going to have nothing for Thanksgiving. It touched me. I almost started crying, but y'all hey, know I'm big baby. I almost started crying, but I didn't want to cry in front of the kids and her. So what I did was, what I did was I started coming three times a week. Only time I go two times if I just gave her too much. I make sure the kids have vegetables. I make sure they have fruit. They have their cakes and cookies and their chips and their candy. I mean, I guess a lot. I guess a lot. And I'm just a blessing. I don't want no reward for it. I don't. Only thing you can say is thank you, and that's it. I don't be want to be put on no pedestal, none of that. But yeah, I'm almost through. 18 minutes. If y'all done made it this far, put a crawfish in the comments. Put a crawfish in the comments if you made it this far. Put a crawfish in the comments if you made it this far. What is this? Y'all, I have to be looking, y'all. Y'all know sometimes they be having them baby, them babies. I don't want to chew nobody babies. We wanted to, no baby. She gonna have to cook me some more of these. We had these crawfish, corn, potatoes. We had fish. What else we had? Gumbo. So, I got these crawfish. I said, let me get this crawfish, do me a video. 
Dạ lắm tương <coughs> Oh let me eat one more potato One more potato for the road One more potato for the road And y'all, this is good right here. It's good. That bird is good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, guys. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I thank y'all for tuning in, watching me eat another crawfish boil. I thank y'all for tuning in to my videos. I thank you for coming, for liking, and for subscribing. For my newcomers, welcome to G Mama's World. Over here, we are families. So I want to thank y'all. I mean, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. If ain't nobody told you they love you today, always remember G-Mama loves you and Jesus loves you. So I'll see y'all in another video. Be safe and be kind to one another.